uh, you can run into a real timing problem. We've got a great stadium here for marching band presentations. Uh, the only difficulty in this stadium is the lip of the stadium down at the field level. The, in, the instrument uh, angles need to be o up above that lip of the stadium for the students to be heard, but that's really the only pedagogical, acoustical problem that we have in this stadium. Cimarron Memorial High School currently entering the field from the uh, north end zone under the direction of Mr. Al Smith, and uh, Mr. Smith has uh, been around a bit. He was over at Valley for a number of years and uh, went over uh, to the junior high for a while, and I guess just decided he, he couldn't stay away from marching bands and high schools and football games and pep bands and things of that nature and is a return to uh, to Cimarron a very different style uh, of, of band director and type of show that he puts on I might add than uh, than Bonanza High School the band you just saw Pat Vaughn and Rick Tusher are the percussion instructors drill team captains are Trina Miller and Angie Griffin drum major Matt Jones bringing them onto the field and uh, to give you a little bit of flavor about what this show will be like let's go out to Cimarron Memorial and Mr. Smith Make the steps smooth. Do not do a jerky march like this. One and two and one and two and all the way across. And one, two, right oblique and left and right and left. We're working on traditions. In three years, it's kind of hard to actually call something a tradition. It hasn't been established that long. As far as a style, here's a term I picked up a couple of years ago. I'd like to say that we're very eclectic, a little bit of everything. We're doing a little dancing this year, um, a little bit of the curvilinear core style of, of marching. And then we're doing some of the old step twos that were established many, many years ago. And uh, he brings up a very good point, does Al Smith, and that is for the new schools, it sometimes might be uh, a little bit difficult assembling these large performance kinds of shows. If nothing else, you know, after three years, you haven't had a long-term, uh, I guess, opportunity to establish leaders and kind of a legacy of leaders. And just as with any kind of an organization, you need leaders year after year after year, and everybody's kind of in the same position here where they're all relatively new to the school and the band and the style and everything that goes along with it. A field show is such a massive production that if you don't have great student leaders, and, and a great quantity of them, you could be in trouble to try and, and teach a, a big production such as we see out here tonight. And, but I'm sure that, uh, that Mr. Smith has great leadership from his band program. And fortunately, he's an individual who, uh, based on his experience and his personal skills and talents, is able to pass along an awful lot of what he knows to the group. And uh, I think you'll see that in the course of their performance this evening. Cimarron Memorial High School.
those just joining us, you're watching the Cimarron High School Memorial Marching Band. Kind of a, a little salute, making our, uh, our audio man in the truck, uh, Tom Sarno, making him kind of remember those days when he was 20, 25 years old, just sort of enjoying himself. Well, I know I can't remember back that far, but uh, yeah, there, there are reasons for that which we shall not delve into. The closing number now for Cimarron Memorial. Under the direction of Mr. Al Smith, that's the Cimarron Memorial High School marching band, as you can well see, the maroon and silver colors there. And um, if you look over at the flagpole, you notice that the uh, flag is hanging limply over in the end zone. And when you also look at the uniforms that this organization has, that can prove to be a rather convenient thing with those capes. Uh, Tom, I'm sure you can run into some problems on a windy day. Capes are, are a great tool for marching bands to gain color and contrast in their visual program. The capes on this uniform are, are silver, or at least they give that appearance, and they're very pretty to look at. And when the band is turning and you see those capes flying in the air, it gives a nice appearance. The only problem is that those days when it's really windy, especially when you're at a competition and those capes are flying around and they're kind of getting in the way of, of what you're trying to do when you're trying to march cleanly and, and trying to march under control. They can be a problem. But uh, they used them very well tonight with all the little body turns that they have in the show. And it certainly was a very eclectic program, all the way from the big band days to Billie Holiday and the Blood, Sweat, and Tears rendition of, of her famous tune, God Bless a Child. Uh, as you can see, we're, uh, we're getting into the big boys in terms of...